Alleluia. 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 Good morning. Happy new day. Happy blessed day. Today is Tuesday, July 5, 2022. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a clear fellowship with God. The topic before this morning is remove faith killers. Remove faith killers. Yesterday we treat watch which is Monday, July. And we take our memory file from Matthew 24, verse 42, which reads, Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But today, we are going to look at remote fit killers. What is remote fit killers? How can we remove fit killers? Listen, and God bless you as you do so. Amen. Our memory fast today shall be found in the book of Mark 5, verse 36. I read, As soon as Jesus heard the spoken word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Something very interesting happened between Jesus and Jairus in the Bible reading for today. When someone came from Jairus' house to tell him that his daughter was dead, Jesus did not allow Jairus to respond. He told him specifically, Don't be afraid, only believe. We see that everything he did before he woke the girl up from the dead was to remove the faith killers. He knew that if Jairus has allowed fear to creep in when he was told that his daughter was dead, the miracle would not happen. He saw that all the people in the house that were crying were faithless. And if Jairus and his wife look at them, they will kill their faith. Jesus just sent them all out before he could perform the miracle. It could be that the reason you have not gotten that miracle from God yet is that you have so many faith killers around you. Believe me, honestly, if you keep hanging around these faith killers, they will hinder you from reaching your goal. You therefore have to remove the app from your life. Go away from places and people whose conversation kill your faith. If you keep listening to them, they will eventually hinder you from achieving your goal. If all the people around you keep talking about these how things are bad and cannot be better, you had better change location. Move to a place where you will hear people telling you that things will be better. Where they will stop hearing, no. We tell you that your goal is achievable. It is not possible, but start hearing, yes, it is possible. I for only half always had big dream that seem impossible when people hear them. Whenever someone laugh at my dream, I tell them, you just watch and see. Then I take a step back from the fellow so they don't kill my faith. Eventually, when the dream begin to come to pass, it will not be my turn, and it will be my turn to laugh. I have always said it, if people don't laugh at your dream, 
then they are not big enough. It is when your dream is so big that it is not possible to achieve it without the help of God. That you have just started dreaming. Don't mind those who have tried to kill your dream in the past. Ignore them. Put your faith in God and watch Him make your dream come to pass. And your dream will come to pass in Jesus' name. Our key point for today stay away from people whose word and action can kill your faith. Stay away from people whose word and action can kill your faith. And the Lord will guide you through in Jesus' name. He will be your shepherd and your alpha and omega in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Mark 5, 21, verse 43. And our Bible in one year, Psalm 91, verse 94. My faith will look up to thee. Home 12. The conclusion for this, give yourself to him and make sure your faith is strong enough. Make your faith strong and everything you want will come to true. This is love word. Till I come your way tomorrow, have a nice day and God bless you. Bye for now. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah.